Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. Everything from products to tools to ways I apply the products, a complete first impressions. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so you can get notified of all my future uploads. If you want to see how I achieved this look as well as get my first impressions on all the products I use today, keep watching. So the first product I'm going to be giving my impression on today is the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil and mine is in the shade Light Brown. Spoolie on one end and a retractable I'm going to test out, give you my first impression of this brow pencil. Probably going to speed it up. You guys have seen me do my brows before. And I'll let you know what I think of the product. This is normally my trouble brow. You can see, like, the difference. But I've been using the Silly George Lash Serum as a brow serum at night. And I feel like it's been working well. Mm. I feel like the formula is kind of waxy, which I don't really like in eyebrow pencils. That's why I tend to go with the MAC Velux Brow. I don't really like waxy brow. I don't really like waxy brow products, but let's see. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's really hard to get the product on the brow. Like, I'm not really seeing a tremendous payout of product. But If you've watched any of my previous videos where I've done my brows before, you can see that it's taking me a lot longer actually with this product than my normal brow routine. So I don't really, I'm really not feeling this product. I have to be honest, this is a first impressions video. So I'm really not, I'm not sold on it. It's actually frustrating me trying to get the color to pack on. So. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna conceal my brows like I normally would, but this is kind of the overall product. All right, love you. It just wouldn't be a me video without my phone ringing or my dog making noise. So overall, I don't really love this brow pencil. It's It was really hard to work with. So now that we've done brows, Let's get into face. So now let's get into the face. I'm gonna be trying a new primer. This is a first impressions video, so I feel like I should just get that out there now. Basically everything I'm gonna be using is new. So I'm gonna be trying the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This was like a sample size I got with my Bloomingdale's Beauty Points. I've heard a lot about it, but I know it's extremely, well, I'm not gonna say extremely expensive, but on the scale of primers, it's definitely on the higher end. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if I wanna buy the full product. That's a great way to try products is to get a sample. One of like my beauty hacks, I guess you could call it, is to get samples of products that maybe are a little more higher end or just new products that you wanna try and really try the sample and see how your skin reacts to it, how you like it before going out and buying the full 
the full product. It feels really smooth. Like it feels silky. And I like this little applicator thing. I don't know if the full size has that. Very, very silky. I like it a lot, actually. There's a little bit of cast, but I've said this before, good primers will have, like, will cast your skin. Um, this primer, I think, also has SPF in it, which definitely will cast your skin. So, I look a little more pale than usual. That felt really, really nice, actually. But for foundation, I'm going to be doing the Maybelline Fit Me in the dewy smooth finish. I'm really a matte kind of girl, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I got two colors because if you watched my haul, I'm gonna link that down below. But I didn't know my exact match, so I got two colors, 110 and 118, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix them on the back of my palm. I'm probably gonna be using a little bit more of the 110 because I am a little pale right now. I hate to have to admit it. But today is a beautiful day in the tri-state area, at least I think it's like 60 something degrees outside. So I'm definitely gonna go try to catch some sun. Since I'm using new foundation, I didn't feel the need to use a new product to apply foundation. So I'm just gonna go in with my damp Juno & Co. Beauty sponge. Let me know in the comments below if you're a matte girl or a dewy finish type of person and why. I feel like I've always strayed from dewy foundations because I have combination skin. So I never want to look more sweaty than I am, if that makes any type of sense. The coverage on the Dewy formula I feel like is the same as on the matte port list. Um, as far as coverage goes, looks super pale on camera. I have a Zoom meeting I'm supposed to be attending. I just can't take myself serious with foundation on my lips. I look super pale, <laughs> no shocker. So I'm just gonna go in with the darker of the two. The one thing I really love about Maybelline is I feel like they have really good quality cosmetics geared towards the right demographic. I think, I mean, I love L'Oreal, but I think L'Oreal's demographic is just a little older than the girl that's buying Maybelline. I've definitely always loved Maybelline as a drugstore foundation. What are some good high-end dewy foundations I should be trying? Because, I mean, I feel like it doesn't even look that dewy. Drop a comment below with some higher end dewy foundations so I could try. And don't say MAC. It's nothing against MAC. I just, I don't know. 
I mean, you could say neck, I don't care. Always get your neck so you're blending out. How does everybody feel about what's going on at Sephora? Like, they definitely, allegedly, and I'm saying alleged because I don't really have any friends that work at Sephora. Um, allegedly, Sephora fired, well, not fired, but let go of all their employees, all their part-time employees during this COVID situation. So I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? I feel like I kind of want to boycott Sephora because as someone in the retail beauty industry, I know I'm very grateful that my job, although I'm not able to be there, they still have a job for me. They didn't let me go. I'm still a beauty consultant. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Sephora. I feel like that's some good tea for us beauty girls to get into like and has anybody if you're watching this video and you were affected by sephora's let go leave a comment below let me know did they really just do it over a conference call i feel like that's super inhumane but let me know let me know in the comments below yeah all right love you see you in a minute bye for powder i'm gonna go ahead and try the milani Conceal and perfect. It's in <laughs> it's in the color number three natural light. It's a shine proof powder. So let's give it a go. That's another thing I don't really understand about dewy foundations. Like how do you keep it dewy if you're applying a powder on top? I guess I'm about to find out. I could still see like a dewy, I don't know how it's coming across on camera because I can't really see into the monitor. My eyes look weird today too. But um, I feel like it's still kind of dewy and I kind of here for it. So as far as concealers go, I don't have a new concealer to try, but I have a new concealer applicator application. Y'all are just going to have to get used to my lips because, child, I cannot live like this. I cannot live like this. I just, I can't. Okay, at least they look a little bit like something. So I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty Buffing Concealer Brush. I actually have been watching a lot of videos while home during quarantine. And it seems like a lot of girls are buffing in their concealer instead of using a sponge. So I definitely wanted to try it. The concealer I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible Wear in the color Oatmeal 345. It's not a new concealer. I chose this concealer because I know that this concealer dries down very well. So I know that in order to kind of blend it in, buff it in rather, I want something that's super super blendable but also very I don't know let's just see how it goes and then I guess we're just gonna buff it in I feel like I'm gonna let it dry down for a quick little second I definitely feel like you'll get more under eye coverage by buffing it in than you would using a beauty blender. Um, that's, that's just how I feel. I feel like it's covering a lot more than if you were to just kind of dab on top. Like, if you're someone who bakes for coverage reasons, you might want to try a buffing concealer brush because this is kind of life changing. Kind of. 
For some reason, I feel like this eye came out better than this eye. I can't really. So I like it. I feel like it gives a much more natural finish. But like I said, it definitely covers more, I feel like, than a beauty blender. I'm just going to take the beauty blender I used earlier and just clean up by my eyes since I didn't put on any concealer under my brows. Now to set my under eye powder, <laughs> to set my under eyes, I'm gonna be using the Milani Translucent Setting Powder in number one, Translucent to Fair. And I'm just gonna take a Real Technique setting brush and set underneath my eyes. And when you set underneath your eyes, you kinda just wanna pack the product on instead of swiping motions that can pull away any sort of product. So I really kind of like how that buffing concealer situation worked out. Now let's get into blush and highlighter. We're almost there. So far, let me just give you a little rundown. I'm not crazy about the ColourPop eyebrow pencil. I'm really liking the Hourglass Primer. The foundation, I'm, I'm here for it. And both Milani powders I've used before for different things. So I don't really have a first impression of them because clearly if I use them in this video, I've and I've used them before, I like them. I definitely am in love with buffing my concealer underneath my eyes. I feel like if I just play with a technique a little bit more, it'll probably be more to my liking, but I definitely think it provides way more coverage than a sponge. I know Sephora has a version. I just told you guys how I felt about Sephora a little while ago, if that clip made it in here. But I got mine at Ulta and yeah, I definitely would recommend that under eye brush. So now let's get into highlighter and blush. For both my highlight and concealer today, I'm going to be using the Tartist Pro Glow Palette from Tarte. It's like this on the inside. And I'm going to be using this for both blush and highlighter. I'm going to try this blush up here. It's called Dance Floor. And I'm gonna dip it a little bit into Premier. So I'm gonna go with the lighter color, but just add a little bit of that dark color. They're definitely matte blushes, which I really appreciate. I've said this before, I hate blushes that have shimmer in them. I just don't like it. So now for highlighter, I'm going to use that same palette, but I'm also going to be giving, if I could get it open, the Ulta Beauty Tapered Highlight Brush. So I'm going to go in with this color to highlight, and it is called Headliner. So I'm just going to take that and go really lightly. I like the highlighter. I don't like the brush. I don't like the brush. The brush is way too big um, and kind of stiff. Yeah, so the brush is a no for me. So the next thing I'm going to be trying is the NYX Pro Contour Duo Pencil. One side is for contouring, the other side is for highlighting. I'm just going to try it on my nose because it's a first impressions video, so why not try something different? I feel like it may be too dark for me, but we're going to find out. Now 
And then I'm just gonna blend that in with the other side of my beauty blender. I feel like it really isn't blending well. I don't know. I feel like my nose doesn't really look any different. What is snatched on the side? I'm gonna be trying a new set of lashes today. These I picked up on Amazon. It was like all 10 of these for like $2. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the glue tacky on the back of them while I also highlight my nose. The lashes I'm gonna be using today are in a wispy style and they're not as soft as Ardell, but they're a really good comparison. Especially if you're just playing with looks if you want to double them up, I do that a lot of times with these wispies from Amazon. I'll double them, make my own lash. So you kind of could do a whole bunch of stuff with them. I really love how this primer is holding up so far. I think it's definitely worth the 50 something dollars for the full size. Bring that out. I'm gonna be spraying my face with the Revolution Makeup Cannabis Calming Fixing Spray. I chose this spray because I don't think it is a matte spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray. Try my setting spray. I'm waiting for my lash glue to get tacky and then I'm gonna do my lips. So overall, I definitely don't think the eyebrow pencil was worth it, the primer, the concealing brush, definitely worth it. The highlight brush was not for me. The contour pencil, I probably could have did without. And what else did we try? Both Milani powders, like I said before, I've used them, so that wasn't really me trying anything new today. This lash band is a lot shorter than the Ardell Wispy band, but like I said, 10 lashes for like $2, you really can't go wrong. I'm gonna let those dry before putting on mascara to blend them. And we're almost done. I'm just gonna use my regular lip combo. I don't have a new lip combo to try. So, see you in a second. So oh, there we have it. We're done. This is the final look of a first impressions. I will link all the products I used down below. Some products I liked, some products I didn't like. That definitely doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out and try them because in beauty, things work for different people. I definitely love, love, love the primer. I'm actually gonna, as soon as I get off of here, I'm gonna go order that from Hourglass. So this is the overall look. What I used on my lips was the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the color London. And my all-time favorite go-to from MAC that I can't find, Honey Love. 
One product that I didn't use in this first impression video that I really wanted to use was the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I will definitely be using this in an upcoming video. I really wanted to try it, but I forgot. <laughs> so, next video. Leave a comment below if you have tried it before and is it truly matte? You know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you're giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.